कुछ पाने की हो आस आस कोई अरमा हो जो खास खास आशा है हर कोशिश में हो बार बार कर दरिया को बार बार आशा है तूफानों को चीर के मंजिलों को छीन ले हर रात रात हो ख्वाहिशों से बात बात आशा है लेकर सूरज से आग आग गाए जा अपना राग राग आशा है कुछ ऐसा करके दिखा खुद खुश हो जाए खुदा Today, me and my friend Aman Gosh are going to demonstrate the entire working of our water treatment plant. The first step, what we are doing is making the turbid water. For making the turbid water, what we did was we have added amount of soil as impurities to this uh, this water, and we have mixed it thoroughly. We have measured the uh, turbidity value of this water, and it came out to be 95.8. Now we are going to treat this water. that we have mixed the turbid uh, turbid, uh, turbid water in the collection tank and this turbid water corresponds to 95.8 ntu now this collection from this collection tank the water is going to the first treatment process that is screening unit screening unit uh, uh, what we did was we provided a mesh of uh, size 1 mm and we fixed it at inclination of 45 degree 45 degree inclination provides the maximum surface area of water flow so that all the coarse particles such as leaf litters and all these can be separated very well from the screen size we have uh, provided the, you can see these leaf litters being separated from the screens that we have provided in the screening tanks now my friend aman will uh, aman gaur will explain you the rapid mixing unit as well as friend shashank has explained you the function of screening unit now the water from the screening unit will be allowed to move into the rapid mixer as you can see this is a rapid mixer where we have given allowed a rotor to rotate at a speed of 80 rpm now we can vary the speed with the help of a regulator with this regulator we can um, increase or decrease the speed of the rotor according to a uh, pro provision or whatever we wanted now we are 
in this rapid mixer we are allowing the coagulant alum potassium sulfate which we are using it is the best coagulant we will allow this coagulant to be added in the rapid mixer and it, it will be properly mixed with the function of the rapid mixer now we are adding the amount of 8 ml per minute we are we have calculated and we got it that it should 8 ml per minute should be added into the rapid mixer unit and it will be allowed to mix for around one one minute duration and then the water will be moving from rapid mixer to the slow mixer as my as aman already explained the, the functions of rapid mixer now i am going to explain I give you a brief about what is slow mixer the only difference between slow mixer and rapid mixer is this has a detention the, the water should remain here for at least 20 minutes and the rotor should uh, move at a speed of 20 to 25 uh, 20 to 25 30 rpm uh, what here uh, what actual function of this uh, slow mixer is the smaller micro flocks that are formed in the rapid mixer are converted into bigger flocks and flocculation takes place in this slow mixer the next unit from the slow mixer the water goes to the sedimentation tank taking place in the slow mixer as you can see the, the coagulants the flocculants have been formed in the slow mixer now this water is allowed to move from the sediment from the slow mixer to the sedimentation tank the sediments now the sedimentation main purpose is to allow the uh, the flocks to, to get settled and we have provided the sludge outlet so that the subtle particles can be removed through this from this knob if we open this knob the sludge particle which have been settled through the slope uh, provided in this area it can slowly slow down uh, slow down and move down to the sludge outlet and here the part particles are uh, as you can see the particles have already been settled down because it has been allowed uh, this process is taking place from past three uh, past three hours and this flocculation has been taking place, a settlement of solids has been taking place. And this is the amount of sludge that has been collected from past three, uh, from the since three hours. Uh, the next step from the sedimentation tank, water goes to this filtration basin. What filtration basin, what we did for filtration basin is we provided this uh, big pipe and we fixed all these laterals. You can see that these are the three laterals fixed on this side and these are the three laterals fixed on this side. When the water uh, comes from the sedimentation tank, the water will flow from all these half cut pipes and will be evenly distributed on the entire sand layer. Below this is a, a, a small layer of gravel, small uh, boulders and at the end there are large boulders, large size boulders and we have fixed all these uh, uh, compacted uh, the entire sand so that the water spreads evenly on this entire structure and gets filtered very easily and then goes to the other unit this is the allowing the water to move from sedimentation tank to the filtration unit as you can see we have opened the knob and the water has started moving from the uh, main pipe to the laterals provided so that the water can be e evenly spreaded to all the sand layer now the best part is we have provided the this as you can see can you, we can we have provided the small pipes from at the bottom of this sediment uh, filtration basin where the percolation have been done small small holes have been done so that after the uh, water has been filtered from the sand layer it the clear water trickles down and it moves through the holes and with that hole with having a slope of some angle with that gentle slope the water will trickle down from the uh, clear water will trickle down from the sediment uh, filtration basin to the chlorination tank you can see the entire filtration tank being uniformly uh, the water has been uniformly we are waiting such so that the water comes to the brim brim of this uh, filtration tank and then we'll open these walls so that the water uh, filtered from the uh, filtration basin goes to the disinfection unit as you can see this is completely filled now we are opening the tap of this we are opening all the four walls that we that had been that had been connected from the filtration tank to disinfection unit to get the clear water as we have, you have seen the process of filtration now the clear water is coming from the filtration unit to the chlorination tank where the chlorine will be added 
and you can see the clear water has been coming out from the uh, outlet of the chlorination tank. As we all know that after the filtration process, the sand filter needs to be treated. It has to be cleared because the after suspended particles have been settled on the sand layer, the sand layer will become dirty. So in order to clean the sand layer, we have provided the backwash phenomena where the we have set the container at a certain height so that the water is allowed to move with a amount, uh, certain amount of pressure and with that help with that water the uh, the dirt can come up to a certain level till the level of this lateral ties and the the mother dirty water will fill up in this uh, lateral ties and with the connection of the main pipe we will allow the water to move from the dirty water to move from the uh, filtration unit to the another container where we can do it now let's perform the experiment we have opened the filtration unit as you can see we have filled it till the top and we are allowing the water to move down start move from the to the filtration unit you can see it has started filling up and now this the dirt is coming up to the top and this dirt along with some amount of sand will move up to the lateral ties where it can be moved it can be removed directly from the filtration unit this is how the filtration chamber is treated and it's it's it is cleared as you can see the process of backwashing being very well functioned here the water has been overflowed from this the impurities from the filtration tank has been uh, there to the lateral ties now what we'll do is We'll, we have provided a provision of separate backwashing uh, tube. We will open this wall and see whether the water is coming out of the backwashing or not. We are opening this wall. You can easily see that the backwash water is also coming out. This backwasher contains some of the sand is there. You can easily make out that some of the sand is there in this backwash water. This means that uh, some of the sand particles are also coming to this lateral pipes. You can see this sand be being also there in this lateral pipes. This is also coming included in the backwash water. You can easily make out that this was the water that we filled in the collection tank. You can see the, the amount of turbidity contained is in this bucket. And you can easily make out that the water that has been treated here is purified clear water. This is the purified clear water that we can drink also.